What is up, my Squirtleites? It is I, your king. Welcome back to more Let's Play Ghost of Tsushima. In the last episode, we continue to explore, taking down a couple of Mongol territorial locations and uh, among other things, just kind of moving around about the map. We actually made our way further down this way, stopped about right around here. And in this episode, we have made our way back to the Golden Temple. There's a few things I want to do before we talk to Lady Masako in this episode. First things first, we have gotten ourselves something new at the gift altar. Very important. Grab some supplies. We'll talk to this guy as well. Do you know of any supplies in the area? No, my lord. But Kami will lend you aid if you pay your respects. Find the Tori gates. Follow them to a shrine, and take what is offered. They say a charm blessed by Kami can change one's fate. I could use that kind of help. And once again, being told things we already know. Yeah, we've already done these shrines, honestly. That's not what I want. I want to hear about, like, bandit camps nearby and stuff like that. Do you know the tale of Tadayori, my lord? I know his name, but I've not heard of his exploits. It's long believed the Ama Tadayori war granted him great power. That it would be disastrous should it fall into the wrong hands. Then I can't let that happen. I'd like to hear more of this story. And this armor. The musician Yamato may be able to help. He told me the legend in Azumo, near the river that separates it from Sutsu. I know Yamato. We've met him once before. Where actually is that? Okay, so it appears to be way the heck over here. We'll definitely have to worry about that a little bit later, but at least we actually found something new. Now, um, last thing, I just want to make sure, so I can get an upgrade to my uh, bow as well as my armor. Although I don't know if I have the supplies for both. We'll certainly see. I'm actually wondering if the only armor upgrade I can get is for my traveler's attire, which I am not interested in at all. Yes, okay, that it does appear to be the case. I almost have enough to get my this armor upgraded, but I think the bow is a little bit... Hold on. A little bit more important. I'm going to grab that then, boo. Uh, so let's head on down to the bow here real quick. I will, I'll I'll be right back, Lady Masako. Just hold on. Hold on tight. We are definitely going to continue your tale in this episode. I promise you that. I just want to upgrade my bow. It's very important. Okay, so yeah, that is a pretty darn good increase. Um, definitely going to do that. So that actually depletes our supplies down to 195. Once we can get 500, we will definitely be upgrading our samurai armor again. Now then, Lady Masako, it's been a long time coming. I owe you another visit. Let's talk. Lord Sakai, come quickly. If, if it will... Le okay, there we go. Lady Masako. Do you have news of your family's killers? On the list we found, Sada was at the top. He's the head man of Kuta Farmstead. Kuta's people served your clan. Why would he turn against you? Because he is an ungrateful traitor. My husband appointed Sadao as head man, and he repaid that kindness with bloodshed. I learned he fled Kuta the night my family was murdered. He must have heard you survived. Sadao is a deceitful snake. But his brother, Hachi, is a fool. He just passed by the temple carting food for the refugees. He will make an unscheduled delivery to his brother. And we will be there to catch him. We have to go, or we will lose him. After what happened at the inn, I didn't think you'd visit the temple again. I came to watch for Sadao's brother, and mourn Clan Adachi's dead. Have you given your family a proper funeral? Not while their killers walk free. After my father died, I said goodbye to him that same night. It helped ease my pain. I buried them. That will have to do. For now. When's the last time you slept, or ate? I had some rice and fish yesterday. Even the youngest warrior needs a full belly and a rested sword arm. Are you calling me old, Lord Sakai? <laughs> I wouldn't dare. My sword arm works just fine. We should have caught up to Hachi by now. Which way do you think he went? Both roads look traveled. Let's search the area. He can't be far. Hmm. Interesting. 
Let's see. Well, if I head down this way, do I see anybody off in the distance? Doesn't look like it, but we'll continue to go down this way. Until the game is like, no, you're searching in the wrong area. Go elsewhere. Oh, there's a cart and a person. Musical, look, the man with the cart. That's Hachi, Sado's brother. Oops, didn't mean to do that. He's leaving. And we will follow. Close, but out of sight. Behave yourself, Ringo. I'm no carrot for you when we're done. Keep back. Keep him back. I'm keeping back. He is going a little bit too slow for my liking, unfortunately. What is that Mongols I see up ahead? You're on your own. Stay hidden. He has visitors. We can't Those are not Mongols. Food, water, other things. Of course. We were promised Saka. Okay. Not yet, but I have something for your guest. It's a meeting. We'll pass it along. He handed them a note. I'll stop here again at the usual time. We'll meet you there. Forget the wagon. Follow those horses. Hmm. Okay. And do I wait for him to leave? Eh. Crap. That was too far. Are we fine? What was that? Let's see. No, nothing. That man is an idiot. He's the headman's brother. Still an idiot. But he has good sake. Not today. Today all he had was a note. <laughs> that note is more important than your life. If we fail to deliver, the headman will kill us. So those are family. <laughs> From a bad family. His cousins are bandits. Remember the riots that erupted? When Kuta Farmstead was sold on rice? Yes. Who do you think hired the bandits that slaughtered the protesters? Headman Sadao. The coward. I knew it. Right. So next time you think of the headman, remember. Just don't look back, guys. Do do do. Nobody sees me. All right, keep going. That's a lot of bandits. Wait, do I need? Oh, I gotta talk to Moscow. Hold on. Are we good? Nobody notices us, right? Are we out of sight enough? I don't know about that. What are you thinking? Should we kill him? A woodcutter's house. Guarded by bandits. Sada's cousins. He must be hiding there. We don't know that. But we will soon find out. Alrighty. Off you go, horses. Oh, I probably should have done the standoff while I had the opportunity, but oh well. Let's kill each of these guys one at a time. Okay, missed that shot, but we're okay. Beautiful. Okay, you guys are nothing. Also, I have the wrong stance up. My bad. Ow. Okay, that was very rude of you. Second, I gotta kill you. And then, we gotta quickly kill him. Woo! Holy crap, that was amazing. Oh my goodness! Die! What a sequence of events, am I right? Goodbye. Hey, Masako, how are you handling this one? You got him? There we go. Okay, you guys don't have anything of value on any of you, do you? It doesn't look like it. Alright, let's keep moving. Wait, hold on, I'm breaking in! A note from Sado. Hachi gave it to the guards. 
Corpses can't answer questions. Wait, hold on. I was going to have this conversation, but apparently the letter decided to pop up. Uh, Hina, word of my involvement in the Udachi massacre has gotten out. I'm sure it didn't come from you. You know the danger of talking, not only to my life, but yours as well. Remain hidden and silent until I have sent for you. Trust in my cousins. They're loyal to me and skilled to be blade. If, any, if you meet anyone bearing this mon, take your own life. All my love, Sadao. Wait, what? There's someone in the house. I'll make them talk. Let me try first. Uh, yes. Hina, you... Uh-oh. I'm not going to hurt you. My name is Sakai. Who are you? Hina, Sada's wife. My husband is innocent. The Mongols killed your family. Where is he? I don't know. You're lying. She'll help us. And she can't stay here. I'll take her to my estate. She's going to kill me. No harm will come to you. So I'm guessing that letter we got was for... Okay, so the letter was for her to kill herself so that she wouldn't have to give up any information. But, uh, like, what the heck, though? Seriously? All right, well... Ooh, maximum resolve increased. Thank you very much. That is extremely helpful. As well as maximum health. I will take that. Oh, my goodness. All right, and now we can get ourselves something new. So easily my next favorite of the ghost weapons is the black powder bomb. This is just has a very ridiculously high area of effect. Very nice for throwing into groups of enemies. It's much stronger than the sticky bomb in that regard. Throw it as a weapon. It's actually quite a lot of fun to use, so we will definitely be equipping that in due time. We also got ourselves a charm of resolve. Okay, I know how to switch range, ranged weapons. It's uh, now it's so this one is actually under throw, which you can switch with the bow, as you can see. And as you can see, we'll also be unlocking more within the throw icon, uh, in the throw menu. Excuse me. So just to kind of give you an idea of how black powder bombs work, all you do is charge it up with R two and release. Boom, and it has just sort of an area of effect like that. You can eventually upgrade this area of effect and make it do more damage in a turn, which is pretty awesome. Alrighty, so now that that is all said and done and we've had our fun, let's see, where did Masako go? Not actually that far from here. So I'm actually thinking we're going to go and talk to her again. So let's head on over that way. I don't know if we'll actually finish this part of the tale in this episode, but we might as well continue to do these since we're already on it. And find out what Hina hopefully has to say about her husband. Because uh, this guy, this guy's no good. He's a, he's a bad dude. It seems. Head up here. And am I going to get spotted? You know what, let's do it. We'll probably actually end up starting this one in the next episode. But uh, for now, let's just worry about taking care of this. I also think there was a fox den right over here as well. I haven't really been doing anything but fox dens lately, which is a little bit unfortunate. There we go. Game didn't actually hold our hand that time, which is kind of nice because I, I always think that's kind of annoying when it does it. All right, here we go. Let's do that. And then maybe, is, would this be a good opportunity to actually show the Black Powder Bomb in action? Probably not. It's honestly better for taking people by surprise. Let me just kill you, slowly but surely. Perfect. Having that extra resolve is going to be really nice. Do your thing. Almost. Woo! Good job. Alrighty. So I think that's it for these guys. Now, what did they have in the cart? It's always the nicest thing to get out of these situations. Some yew wood, and I'm assuming some supplies as well. So, let's see. Is this a shrine? Yeah, okay. <laughs> We're right back at Golden Summit Shrine again. Completely losing track of what I'm doing. Just wanted to make sure. Was there a fox den over here? I thought I saw something. But maybe I'm wrong. No, I guess not. Might have just been confusing those trees in the distance for one, since they often have those sorts of leaf colors, but there is no fireflies around them, so you know that it is not... Um, Okay. Oh, there you are. Okay. Um, 
So you know it is not a fox hunt unless you see those fireflies. Anyways, let's continue on over this way. Start making our way over there. Just want to make sure she's not that too far off of the beaten path. But probably by the time we get there, this episode will be over. So we got to go to the Adachi Estate. I hope that Hina doesn't do anything stupid. You know what? I'm just going to let you guys duke that one out. I'm not even interested. Well, I don't know, though. I do kind of want the predator hides. Hold on. I'm going to help. I'm going to help a little bit. There we go. Almost. There we go. Kill you. Y'all dead? I think you're all dead. All right. We're fine. Grab some predator hides. Ooh, black powder bomb upgrade available. Good to know. So we're going to definitely hit up a trapper for that so we can hold more of those. Now let's continue. So I want to grab the flowers as well so we can get our cosmetics. We haven't actually changed anything in the way of cosmetics much in the last several episodes. I know definitely need to be focusing on that a little bit more than I do because it is always nice to change things up. Wait, what in the world? Arrows. Okay, I'll definitely take those. Yes, please. Sorry, those were stuck in you, sir. Ho hope you have a good nap. Oh, wait a minute. He's not sleeping. Oh, I'm so sorry. All right. How close are we? Is that more? I'm right here. Yeah, let's do it. More bandits. So I had a graveyard, it seems. Take care of all of these guys. Almost got me. Good try. Honestly, it was a valiant effort, sir. All right. Who else is left? I see one, two, it looks like just two. Okay, we do have a big guy here, which these guys I hate dealing with, so I'm just going to do that. Oh, okay, hold on, you're an archer. Just a second. Oh, it's, that's, uh, they just all kind of came out of the woodworks there, didn't they? My goodness. It was, a, it was a good try. Oh, there you go. Almost got me. Um, Excuse me, sir. You need to go. Thank you. Do your thing. Woo! Awesome. Hello. Now, if you don't mind, I'm just going to kill you like that. Beautiful. Just get a little bit of legend increase. And then I want to see what they actually had in here that they were all playing around with. What is this? Aha! Singing crickets. Another collectible that you can sort of find around the area, around all the different areas in this game. Also useful for... I think that one is necessary to get the platinum. I'm almost positive. I actually could be wrong about that one. Um, but, uh, let's, let's continue on. Is that, uh, okay, this, man, there's a lot of flowers out this way. There's actually one part of the game that you're going to come across uh, a little bit later on where you are going to find flowers so often and just so constantly that you're never going to have to worry about cosmetics for, like, the rest of the game. It's kind of insane. There's a Dachi Estate. All right, I think, though... That is going to be it for this episode. I know it's a little under 20 minutes, but I've also gone a little over for the last few episodes. So hopefully this sort of makes up for that. Guys, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Ghost of Tsushima. I hope you all enjoyed it very, very much. In the next episode, we will rendezvous with Lady Masako and see where to go from here. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all then.